Hey everyone, this is Father Sean with another episode of The Couch Chat. And so we're, we're here in the month of June. And the month of June in the church, it's, just a, it's a great month of the church. There's a lot of great saints whose feast days we celebrate. And one of the things we do in June is, June is always dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And so you've probably seen images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's an image of the heart of Jesus on the outside of his body. And so June is dedicated to the Sacred Heart, devotion to the Sacred Heart, because normally the Feast of the Sacred Heart falls within the month of June. Of course, it does this year also. This Friday is the, uh, the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I believe that's June 9th is going to be, whoop, check that, June 7th is going to be the, uh, the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So you think about this, some aspects of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, it's always an image of the heart on fire. There's flames leaping out of the, uh, the heart, showing this burning love that Jesus has for us, this incredible outpouring of love and just the, the passion of his love that he has for us. And then it's the crown of thorns surrounds the sacred heart because that's, that's, his, uh, that's his crown, that's his kingship, that's his heart is, is um, crowned with not glory, but with, well, a different sort of glory with the crown of the thorns. And then also it's pierced with a, there's a, there's a hole in the heart of Jesus that's bleeding, symbolizing the hole that he was pierced with the lance in his side when he was crucified. So just encourage you, maybe devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus this month. Maybe it means praying the Litany of the Sacred Heart. You could probably just Google Litany of the Sacred Heart and to, uh, to just experience that. It's this incredible prayer asking for the heart of Jesus to have mercy on us. And so the devotion to the Sacred Heart is we look to the heart of Jesus as a symbol and as an image of his love. So ultimately, the goal is to be devoted to the love of Jesus, but the heart is a symbol. It's a gateway in some ways to the, to the love of Jesus. So that's really exciting this, uh, this month, and especially for the feast day, the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart, coming up in just a couple days on June 7th. Of course, the following day after the uh, Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So these two hearts that are always so united in their love for us. And so the day after, on the 8th of uh, June, we'll celebrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary. A couple things in the parish coming up. Um, also this weekend and next weekend, we'll have our summer missionary cooperative speaker. And our speaker this year is going to be a layman who's representing the Diocese of Karen in er Eritrea, Africa. So um, he, he lives in Ohio, but goes and speaks on behalf of the Diocese of Karen. So Dr. Amine Kadane. So we're grateful to have him these next two weekends in our parishes. He'll be uh, with me both, both weekends. So I'll, I'll try to preach a little shorter so that he can, uh, he'll, he'll share his message about his diocese. So thanks for your generosity for receiving that message and for prayerfully supporting all the, all the great work that different dioceses throughout the world are doing, especially the church in Africa. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is something that's beginning a week from today, and that is a healing event with Jesus in the Eucharist. So uh, a priest by the name of Father Scott Brossert, his mother is one of our parishioners, so he never grew up in the parish, uh, but he was visited every now and then. And so he's coming in for a family wedding and he offered while he's here that he, he does different sorts of missions, different sorts of talks. And so we offered to do that while he's here next week. So that'll be June 12th, 13th and 14th. There'll be, there, you can check the bulletin for the schedule. There'll be evening masses. There'll be uh, times of prayer. There'll be talks. There'll be times for confession. So just an event to encounter Jesus Christ and his healing in the Eucharist. So Father Scott is a member of a religious community called the Society of Our Lady of the Trinity. Probably um, the most famous member of the, this community in our own day and age in the church is a religious sister by the name of Sister Miriam James Heidland. So 
they're a member of the uh, of the same community. I'm not exactly sure the relationship, the connection uh, between uh, their men and religious in the Society of Our Lady of the Trinity. But uh, we're so blessed to have Father Scott, and it's so generous for him to come in his time away, his time with on vacation, to be able to to spend some time here, helping us to grow in our love for Jesus in the Eucharist. So check that out in the bulletin. Great events to have with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, right? So we realize our love that Jesus has for the poor in Africa, for those who need the gospel, but also the love he has for us in the Eucharist. So great things happening in June. Hopefully you're able to take advantage of these opportunities. So that's all for the Couch Chat this week. Hopefully you have a great solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and we will see you next week here on the Couch Chat. Peace.